hello everyone so today we will see how can i use the custom slash command spot so i have been seeing that a lot of people actually don't know how to use it or maybe they are using it wrong so i thought let's make a video so let's get started first of all you have to go to this link ccbot.app and i hope you can see it you have to log in so let me log out okay so you will see this login button here just have to click this and authorize yourself okay so after you authorize yourself you will see a list of servers you are in so you have to invite on which server you want to use it let me uh, invite it in a new server Okay, you have to give it these permissions if you want to or if you want to not give a specific permission you can just disable that and then you have to authorize okay so after authorization done you can see the server came up here so if you click it you will see this interface where you can see some quick links and how many commands you have and you have sync or not so first of all you have to create a command okay so this is the command name so command name is the actual command you will type to run the command so if we go to server and type slash you can see all the commands here these are actually command names so you have to type whatever you want to see there so if you want to uh, say like hello you will see hello there and then you have to type a description of the command so description is nothing it just describes what is the use case of the command so this uh, this command will say hello okay now the command is enabled and if you want to make it ephemeral you can check this one but we're not going to do that so let's keep it as it is then there are a lot of things but the first thing we want to see is the response okay so response content is the message that the bot will send it will be something like maybe hello and let's create the command now if you go to command space you can see this command and if you go to server and type slash hello you can see the command appears here now if i click on it and then enter you can see the bot replied with the response content okay so this is very basic now we can see what we can do more like sending an embed you can see there is no embed it just says select embed you can actually create more embed and attach it here Okay, so let's see how can we create an embed and attach it to the command. So first of all, you have to click this link or you can create a embed here. So we will just click on this link and it will open a new tab. And you can type uh, all the information here you want. So first of all, the name. This name is just to identify the embed and it will not show any higher in the response. Okay, so let's say this is a test embed and then you have to fill up titles descriptions author name if you want whatever you actually want so we just want some title maybe uh, hello and say uh, hello uh, saying hello to and maybe your name okay so if we create this embed you can see embed is created and you can see this here and now if i go back to this command and see here uh, you will see the embed shows here so we can select this embed and update the command now if i come over here and say hello again uh, you can see the bot sends the content as well as the embed okay so after that you can see this arguments hooks and these are actually optional but 
you can use them to make the command better so let's say you want to say hello to someone else so you might want to mention him in the command so in that case you want to use the argument so first argument let's say we want to add a target whom we want to mention so this is the target and it will be a member and there is no default value we just want to mention him then we can just uh, use this target here so let's say hello target so you can see this curly brackets we have to use curly brackets in content whenever we want to get information from arguments or variables so we will see variables later let's see what is uh, this target doing here so after we updated the command if we go here and type hello again you can see it's asking us to mention someone and it already shows the board but we can type something here and you can see it actually wrote the uh, full name okay maybe we want to we want to just mention we can just type dot mention here and if we run the command again you can see it mentioned me maybe i want id of uh, of the user i can also do that you can see this is my id and uh, i can do actually a lot of thing and what i can do you can find here so you can see just the user in this case it's uh, we are using target so this is target target dot ig id username nickname display name roles and actually a lot of stuff so we can use them all here if you want to uh, get the id of the person who ran the command then we will have to use user otherwise we have to use whatever the argument is okay so that is the basic uh, uses of arguments you can have multiple arguments if you want to have more information like maybe a uh, message and, uh, the message. so we want to say this target this message and let's say we want to we don't want any embed here and we want to say that um, let's say user dot username so you can see this one here okay so user dot username is saying and we can say message to uh, target dot username so user dot username that means the user who ran the command is saying this message that we are getting from here to the target username okay let's see what it says so if now i uh, run hello again you can see it's asking for something so let's say target is slash commands and message is uh, something like this so you can you can see shakhtiar is saying to slash commands so that's how arguments work you can pass additional information to the response and next we have to use the hooks so hooks are actually there are a lot of use cases here so for hooks you can see these programmed variables you can use all kind of variables but let's see some programmed variables like you want to uh, give role to the target let's say remove this one and uh, you can uh, give this target a role so we have to use the add roles variable here so we have to type add roles then whom you want to give the role it's the target and then which role we have to get the role id so if you go to roles and let's say we want to give the red role okay that's it now running this command will give the target this red role update the command and now if i type hello 
you can see it's asking for a target and we can type slash commands and it will give slash commands the role but before that we have to do a simple setting here this is moving the slash commands role on top of the role you want to give okay so now if i run this command you can see uh, this message is old because we haven't changed it let's say hello but you can see now slash command has the right role and if you want to give other roles like green blue you just have to give the role id here and same for remove roles you can use just remove roles here and it will remove you can like uh, do add roles target and let's say it adds green then removes uh, red like that you can use as many as you want so these are actually a lot of variable and they have specific use cases and you can just play around with them and see how they works like if you want uh, this command uh, to be run by only admins you can say like uh, require this one uh, require permission require permission administrator okay so putting it here will make the command executable by only admins no other person can run this command if he is not admin or does not have the administrator permission so this is a way to lock a command to a specific user like a specific permission or a specific role for a specific role you can say this has role or not this has role the allowed roles okay so allowed roles then you have to put which role you want to allow this command let's say we want to allow red roles and if i just update this command and now you can see i don't have this red role and if i try to run this command it will say you are not allowed to run this command but if i give myself the red role and now try to run this command it will work because i have the red role and red role is the allowed role you can actually allow many roles if you want like red and blue can run this command you can also do it just put a comma okay so these are actually variables now you can like kick members ban member and uh, like a lot of stuff like if you want to let's make another command and let's say dice uh, this is our dice and uh, let's say we want to use a random number from one to six so you can use this random number variable like you wrote then cut the brackets here random number one uh, six so if we just do this and like let's type dice and you can see four now again three so it will like randomly generate a number from one to six that's how variables work there are a lot of variable you can just use them one by one and see what they does and in hooks and pre and post means this will run before the command execution so before the content is sent this will run and this will run after the content has been sent or the embed has been sent so use whatever suits your command and the last thing is settings <coughs> you can see this auto sync here so if you have auto sync enabled whenever make uh, whenever you make any changes to command or create a new command it will automatically appear in your server but if you 
uh, disable this making any changes will not sync to your server so you have to manually sync them like you will see a sync now button here which you have to click every time you make any changes for example let's create a new command and give it a new command name okay anything and maybe something and create command so you can see command is created the command is here new but if i type new it doesn't show for you because the commands are not sync so you can click on here to sync or come over here and click sync so you can see synced now if i go here and type new you can see the command shows so that is actually auto sync so it is you can keep it enabled if you want but uh, you can also keep it disabled if you are experimenting with commands and don't want to automatically sync until you are done with experimenting you can disable this and variables so variables are information like a static information like you have a youtube url and this may be https uh, youtube.com slash your channel and you can add this variable now you can show this information in all your commands okay if we go in command hello and we want to show the youtube here like youtube url equals uh, maybe no like that and you can use the youtube variable here you can use this server variable server var so server var and then quotation marks and put the variable name which is youtube url just do that and save it so if i now uh, let's say run hello again okay so you can see the youtube channel shows here so that is how you can use variables and you can actually update variables in by the command uh, let's say we want to update a variable by using a command like let's say set set youtube so we want to update the youtube variable using this command so for that we have to use these hooks and in program variable you can see update server for so update server for then you have to put the variable name you want to update and the new value new value can be anything let's uh, take this as uh, argument so new url the new url okay so we want to use this new url here so now it will update the youtube url to this new url whatever we pass in arguments okay so we can just say you are updated okay so command description this sets new url to youtube okay now if i run this command like set set youtube and let's say https google.com and if i run this url updated and uh, that means if i run again hello you can see it now shows google so we can update variables using uh, commands or we can also go into variables and edit them update them or we can create we can update we can do anything and member variables are same but uh, they are bound to a specific member and only that member can update that variable so that's it all the things are actually explained here if you still are facing any problem please join to the support server by clicking this link we will be happy to help you and thank you so much for watching